With this brand new plugin, you can instantly turn your regular footage into mixed media in just one click. Inside of this plugin, everything is fully customizable. And there's honestly just so much you can do with this brand new mixed media plugin. And I'm also gonna have a free scribbles and textures pack linked below that works so well with this plugin. Let's hop right into it. So opened up inside of After Effects here, we have the plugin itself. It's called MXM. It'll be linked below if you guys wanna check it out. You guys can use my code and save some money as well. So I've cut up this part of the brand new Lucky Music video. It's just cut very fast. And all you have to do is pre-compose it so it shows up inside of your project here. And then inside of the plugin, you wanna hit Fetch Comps. And then you wanna click on the one that you pre-compose, which is this one here. And then you wanna hit Launch. And then you guys can see immediately you have this super crazy mixed media look loaded up. So you can go through each one of these and play with the different overlays that go on top of it. And and then playing with the slider here as well, you can control the look. Now, to be completely honest with you guys, my favorite one is either the very first one here or the very last one. I just really like the tones this one brings out. So I recommend turning the look all the way up, but just like I told you guys, you can really, really mess with it to your own liking. Then I recommend turning on pulsarized time and setting it to eight FPS just to give it more of a realistic mixed media look. You have 12 FPS, 15 FPS, and then eight. And then you guys can play with the scan. As you guys can see here, it kind of gets more cartoony the higher you go up. I'm gonna leave it at two X. I really like the way this looks guys. And I honestly can't believe this is all fully digital. It's actually crazy. Now below here, you can turn on and off if you wanna have shake, flicker, scatter, which is basically gonna add a lot more texture or damages, which is like these paint things that are all over. I recommend leaving the preset ones on. So if we go into source now, this is where things get really interesting. We have all the textures up here that you can go around and mess around with. My favorite one has gotta be the last one. And if you turn the intensity all the way up, I just think it looks the best on this mode here. But if we go through, we have like cardboard, for instance, on this one here, and they all just give you a variety of different looks, especially if you look in the black areas, like in the top right here, you can see all the different looks that they give you. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the last one here. And then basically at the bottom here, you have all of these other sliders, and then you have cuts that add these little cutouts you guys could see. And then you have little paint splatters that I like to keep on. And you could add marks to it as well. And then mosaic, which is kind of hard to see, but uh, I recommend turning that one off in my opinion. Now below here, we'll get onto this part now. This just affects the video here. It doesn't actually affect the paper texture. So I would just mess around with this, like go to a regular frame of your video and then just play with the exposure until you get it right. So I'm just going to bring it around there and then play with the gamma. So I like to kind of overexpose a bit and just turn up the gamma to compensate if you kind of want it more of like a tone look like that with the blacks, or you could turn down the exposure and turn the gamma down and get more texture. Turning up the color is only gonna turn up the color on the actual footage itself. You guys can see what that does there. And then adding some noise as well always looks good just a little bit. And yeah, I think that looks great there, guys. And guys, this looks absolutely amazing. I can't believe this is fully digital. As you guys can see, it's playing back. It's actually just stunning. You guys wanna go grab this, it'll be linked below. And I'm also gonna have a free scribbles and textures pack linked below that works so well with this plugin. I'm gonna drag and drop the files inside of After Effects here. If we go back into our composition before it had all the MXM effects on it, you guys could see the sheer difference in texture there. But if we go ahead and add some of these scribbles on here, especially if we place them strategically and move them around, you can really add a lot more looks to the scene. Especially for a scene like this, if you're able to rotoscope Lucky out, and then put one of these like boxes or something. You guys can really create some unique effects with these here, especially the boxes and circles. What you can actually do is put other clips from the videos inside of these and really get some interesting looks. Just to show you guys as an example, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not gonna go fully in depth with the doodles, but I highly recommend downloading them as well with the plugin and adding them and rotoscoping them and putting them aside and just making a bunch of layers and playing around with everything and just experimenting. As you guys can see, if we open back our comp, you could see the doodles look absolutely crazy inside with the paper textures on them. They really add to the look a lot and it really gives you a super crazy grunge look. If you guys wanna go ahead and download the plugin, it'll be on fredpele.tv. It's the MXM plugin. You guys can see the description. You can see all the different ways it's used as a mixed media emulator. You guys can see here, you added a bunch of extra layers and boxes and put it on top. And you guys can see it just looks so great with everything worked in. And there's a bunch of great reviews on here as well. 99 plus, which is kind of crazy. Now, if you guys use code Tiny Tapes, you'll save $5 off your purchase. And if you're American, ignore this price. This is Canadian. I'm a Canadian fella. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching the video. I am excited to see what you guys make with these things. This is honestly the craziest plugin I've seen in such a long time. He absolutely snapped the way it looks. It looks so realistic. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.